What's up guys, so I've been recently asked to bring out a, my ranked games and while this isn't solo queue, it's still a ranked game team, ranked games 5v5, a lot of communication, a lot of working together, so uh, while I'm still be, I'm still deciding what to do with my solo queue, so I should just make tips and tricks or full commentaries or possibly both, I decided to bring you this one, which was played recently, like two or three days ago maybe, I don't quite, quite remember it, still, uh, I'm up against a grip plank. It's a very difficult lane. There's like nothing that I can do early. I, I only thing that I can do is like take Q's to the face, let my let my health just go down, and yeah, get behind in CS, everything. And as you can see, I brought a flask and free health boss because I just really want to stand against a great gangplank. Something that you gotta know, guys, is that when you are behind, you can call for help for your gang for your jungler, and also you can capitalize on your opponent's mistake. As you can see. Gangplank has been wasting a lot of Qs on me, and I have sustain, which means at some point it gets out of mana like this, and I can fight him and smack him in the, with my gain, and he's dead. So very important. Even though you are behind, doesn't mean that you, that your situation is actually lost with a gank, with a little mistake from your opponent. As long as you capital, capitalize on that, it's done. It's like you don't. It don't, doesn't put you ahead of him, but it helps you recover. A, a lot of what you lost and as you can see he, he has 42 CS I only have 16 so uh, something that you gotta know guys it's you gotta have walls in this game I had a chain vest and I decided to test if it was enough to trade with a great gangplank unfortunately it was incredibly stupid of me to try to face him while I was level 5 and he was level 6 which almost ended up in me dead but I managed to escape thank god still it took me balls to do it, it took me courage, but I gained a little bit so a little bit of information about that. I can't face him with a chain vest, so I'm gonna i I'm gonna still farm, I'm gonna wait for more mistakes, and once I get more items, I'm gonna test that theory again to see when I can actually face him head on 1v1. And right about now, he's out of mana, once again I have the sustain and I can and I can out damage him because he has no mana. I pop everything I have and I kill him a second time. I also know that it has no ignite, so it can't possibly use that to finish up my health. So, as you can see, even though I'm behind it's CS, and yeah, it's a pretty difficult situation for me, I can still capitalize on his mistakes and get a little bit ahead of me. Right now I went to do the little minions of the blue buff because well, there was a problem with Warwick dying on a blue buff, I don't know what actually happened. But I I took the chance since my lane wasn't pushed and I couldn't actually do anything yet against Greek Bankplank to just do, you know, do it. So. Italy comes to gank the top lane, which is kind of messed up. Warwick comes to help me. I it was like kind of like a mis little bit of miscommunication, which ended up in us doing nothing. I couldn't flash over the wall to help Warwick when he ult Italy, so we didn't actually kill anyone. And when I wanted to go to gangplank, and that means that nothing was accomplished, no money was gained. Uh, Oriana got a little bit more farm on the mid lane because Italy wasn't there and a little bit more experience. Either way. No problems. So I'm still just like farming because I want to see, I want to gain items. Unfortunately, I get ganked, I get killed. Top lane gets uh, gang banged by three people. My turret gets destroyed, War gets killed. So basically, two kills in a turret for day, for them. And yeah, it's like a huge loss for us. Uh, as you can see, already I'm, I'm stacked up in armor because I really want to be able to face that gangplank. Once he teleports, I take the time. Let's see who can do deal the most damage now. And apparently. I can finally trade with him. I try to get him, but yeah, he cures my slow. So what I do is I'm just gonna I I'm trying to bait him into a fight because I communicated with Warwick for him to gank me because it's like an easy kill. Too pushed. And we get an easy kill thanks to that because he was actually wanting to fight me. We I communicated with Warwick to take down this turret because it's like free turret. We can't afford to not destroy this turret when we have the chance. It basically, he would mean that he would push and I wouldn't be able to counter push as much as he did because I would be too open for ganks. So he took down the turret, it's an objective, more gold, it's pretty good for us. I do walls because I do really need the stacks on asses, right? And I'm going to gank mid and keep notice that I pop my ghost so that I can catch neatly on her cooker form. Right over there I saw a flash but I didn't saw it, so I immediately thought that she had flashed off the wall, which apparently didn't have happen. So it caused me to go back away a little bit and then go back. Uh, trying to catch her and she just can't run away because you know my slows are too strong for, for her and we kill her. So bot lane knew that we were after Italy and they didn't run away. So 
Leona, Leona got killed, Kog'Maw still managed to kill the Trash, but he also got smacked with Marcane in, in his face, which ended up in his death. So basically 3 for 1, and a lot of CS for me is worth it. If... yeah, it was worth it, definitely. <laughs> Either way, <clears throat> we are kind of like... Uh, as you can see, we are very, we are ahead in money, we are ahead in kills, even though the difference isn't that big. At any point, this game could turn around. As you can see, they got one turret, it's four guys, I can't defend it myself, so they got another turret. Botlane is trying is split, trying to split push to compensate the losses that we just suffered. Uh, they get caught in our jungle, I don't know why, they, I think they were trying to recall. Be very careful when you're in the enemy's jungle, be sure that you cannot, that you cannot be caught, at least be in a proper place to recall. Uh, we take them down. For some reason, I just went to Conrad. Don't ask me why. I just like we just <laughs> we just killed a lot of them. We could just really push mid lane, and, and Oriana just stood there watching me farm the race because she wanted to steal the race on purpose, just like to mess with that. What's up with me? When we could have pushed mid lane and possibly took down that turret. Still, while we attempted to do something in mid lane, we realized we can do a free dragon. Afterwards, we catch enemy team. Uh, <coughs> around the million trying to get the dragon, trying to see if you were there, so it's like the perfect time to gain even more adventure, snowball this game out of their control, and we also get this area, Caitlyn is like very good to take down turrets, uh, and while I, and I tank this, basically, because I'm Nessus, I'm a tank, I tank turrets, either way, I went to raids to gain some a little bit of HP, then I noticed that top lane is getting a little bit too much push, so I went there and I'm farming that because I really want the stacks and the money. And basically, yeah, that's just what I'm doing. I recall, as you can see, I already have the Frozen Heart, I have the Rendu Zone, and I built Shin. You might be thinking that on Nessus I built the Frozen Gauntlet, but yeah, I'm not such a... It's not like I'm not a fan of Frozen Gauntlet, I simply have a fetish, let's say, for the Trinity Force on Nessus, because I think it's just damn strong. Although, if you had trouble catching the enemies, or if you really need defenses, then for all... Or if you just prefer it, then... Please build the Frozen Gauntlets, please, it just, it will help you, it will help you a lot. It's just in my case, I'm ahead, I, the defenses I like are already built, they, they, they can do almost no, they can do almost no damage to me, and so I, Trinity Force, yeah, definitely Trinity Force, like one of my favorite items for Nazi, so, <clears throat> it's just my choice. So, Zed ults Caitlyn, he tries to kill her, not enough damage, uh, then we get ourselves a Leona, but she's so tanky that we can do anything. We still try to get there, but it's, yeah, it's way too dangerous. Thanks to my ult to recover a lot of health, but I'm almost out of mana. But check out, uh, Oriana ulted three guys on those bushes. She, she, they started chasing. She almost gets killed because of it. I smack, I smack uh, these guys in the face. She gets a nice triple kill and a clutch shield, a beautiful clutch shield saves us, saves uh, saves herself from from dying. And we also catch on immediately. So it's basically four kills. And I wanted to push this lane, but unfortunately it's that it's very good at pushing lanes. I have no mana to counter push that, so we did just did red. I see some farm on top lane, I farm for a little bit of extra cash. I go back base and I do the phage. So as you can see, I'm already a beast. I have a lot of health. Even though I started I started so bad. I started with a lot of CS difference. I was very far behind. I couldn't farm, I couldn't do anything. The only thing that I, that I could do was capitalize on the fact that Gangplank wasted a lot of mana and to a point that I could sustain myself, gain a little over HP and he couldn't do anything more. So that was just basically it guys. And now we are now pushing, trying to end this game. Nearly gets caught. And me without any worries in the entire world, I just tank the two turrets, smack her in the face with my cane, destroyer, take my time to destroy this inhibitor while the rest of my team takes out the turrets. And we take down this area, and this is hilarious. Zed ulted Caitlyn, but it ended up on top of the trap that she had placed. So, so yeah. Either way, the game is over. This is what happened. I hope you have enjoyed, guys. If you want to see more, please subscribe. You have more videos there to watch. Share it, as it helps my channel grow. And GG, I hope to see you all next time.